Okay. Band meeting. Band meeting. All right. Um, Jermaine. Yes. Okay. And I suppose Brett. Yes. Okay. And Murray's fired. So, he's so we don't. Cross him off. Cross him off. Item one. We need more gigs. Well, I think that we should try and call a club and see if they have the gig. I'll do that. Uh, now, item two on my list is more bass solos. Um, yeah, I guess so. Bass solos, the audience wants them. There we go, it's ringing. Oh, no, not me. No, because I'm a pushover. No, I'll you, just agree you, to anything. You're good, it's ringing. Hello? Yes, I'm calling on behalf of my band. Uh, there's two of us. Non-smoking. Courtyard. Um, yeah, 8.30 is fine. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. <sighs> Sweet. No, I just made a dinner reservation for two at 8.30. You should call, I think. Okay. No one can understand me. Hi, I wonder if you have any gigs available. Wonder if you have any gigs available? Gigs. Gigs. For a band? Yeah. A band. We're a band. A band? Yeah. Uh, a, a bowl of tuna salad? Great. Okay. Um, it's Brett. B. A. R. 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 There's too many like, R's. Yeah. R. R. E. T. Yes. Well, that, that, okay, that's good. Thank you. And Jermaine. And Jermaine is the other guy. Jermaine. Jermaine. Oh, don't worry, don't, just, oh, just use my, my name. You'll meet him tonight. Are you sure about this, man? I mean, this is like selling one of your nuts. I mean, it happens. I know a guy from Ithaca. Sold his nuts. They didn't grow back. I mean, one of them did, but it wasn't the same. How much, Dave? For the guitar? Yes. Twenty dollars. Twenty bucks? He bought this off you for a hundred and twenty bucks. Twenty bucks is fine. Good call, Brett. Good deal, buddy. Enjoy. Hey, Eddie. Brett, you're late. You okay? I'm sorry, Eddie. I slept in because the alarm didn't go off, because the power was cut off, because I bought a new cup. Well, uh, I already gave you a sign out. There's no work for you today. Get out of here, Brett. Brett, wait. I like you, Brett. You're like a son to me. You remind me of my niece. I want to help you out. There is one other job. No, I'm not dressing up in the condom suit. Ah! Brett, you'd make a great condom. I won't do it. I refuse to dress as a condom. You have standards, Brett. I admire that. But one day, you're going to have to let them go, like I did. Did you know I used to dream about being a male nurse? Now look at me, in this place. Look at me. Eddie, are you wearing any pants? No. I want my head off. Go on. But the condom offer still stands. Think about it. Okay, I'll see you, Eddie. Bye, Brett. Dear Mr. Salati, how is your family? I've attached the photo of me with that funny-shaped cactus I told you about. On a more serious note, when we last wrote, you told me that you'd return the investment to us by Friday that week, but it is 14 days late. I hope it's not more trouble with that dictator. They do have a bad reputation. What about that guy Hitler? LOL. Delete, 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 delete. Greg. Yes, Mary? I'm having trouble getting hold of an internet businessman from Nigeria. How can I make sure that he sees my internet letter over any others? How do you mean? Well, this guy wants me to send him some money so he can release his family fortune, and then he's going to share it with me. I just want to make sure my letter stands out. 
when I send a normal letter, I put a piece of string on it, see? Is there any way I can do that with the computer? Have you considered the possibility that this might be a scam, Murray? <laughs> yeah, considered it. Why? It sounds like a very famous internet scam. Con man pretends to be able to access a large sum of money if the receiver of the email can give him his bank details and or send money directly to his bank account. But this guy's royalty. It's sent on a royal internet letter, proper address at the bottom and everything. If I were you, I wouldn't send him any money. Good advice. Thank you, Greg. Greg. Yes. Uh, if I've sent money through the internet, is there an option where you can suck it back into your computer? You haven't sent any money, have you, Murray? Um, <laughs> no, no, just thinking, because um, I've actually bought something, a pair of shoes, and I'm not happy with them. I want to get the money back. Want a party? Have a good time? Can I get a Want a party? Pardon? Ah, sorry. Nothing, sorry. sorry. Just a male prostitute, that's all. So, you know, I was asking if, you, if you'd like to have sex with me, but you'd have to give me money. Probably don't, so don't worry about it. I'll just... How much do you charge? Uh, it's expensive, you know? Yeah. Okay, then. Oh, what? Let's do it. Are you sure? Yeah, sure. Why not? Hey, yeah, no reason, I suppose. Um, okay then, well, uh... Oh, I haven't got this far before. Meet me in my room. 208? 15 minutes? All right. Are you sure, though? Yeah. You don't have to? No, I want to. Okay. Okay. All right then. What? I've decided you can't have your gang headquarters in our flat anymore. Okay. Why? Well, because I'm paying half and I don't have a gang in here. And, and just that, well, that old guy pulled a flick knife on me. That's a good reason. Well, do you want me to ask him not to stab you? Yes, please. Okay, just tell me, I don't mind. Good night. Also, Brett, they're very messy. And, you know, I'm walking around the house and there's little bits of paper around, gardening utensils, tea bags. That's our weapons. Whatever. I think everyone should pick up one thing before they leave. Okay, so don't stab you. Don't stab me. And pick up one thing each. Pick up one item each. Well, I'll try. Well, otherwise I suppose you could have someone who picks things up, like a, a person whose job it is to actually pick up the the messy things. It's a good idea. Someone who's close nearby who could just do that specific job. Um, Eugene? No, not Eugene. Someone a bit less like Eugene. My mum? Someone who's in America. Maybe you could give them a gang nickname like Rubbish Bag. It's not a good nickname. Oh, well, I don't want them in the house anymore. Can you ask them to leave, please? Hey, guys. Would you be able to go home now? It's after 10 o'clock. Okay, Brett. Let's go check our emails. Pick up one thing. And can you please pick up one thing as you go? Did that nosebleed put you up to this? I'll wring his scrawny neck. No, guys. That was a great day with the gang. See you guys.